is a new year 2022 a new beginning and i would like to incorporate some aspects from newer arcs into my what if specifically from the moral arc when vegeta trains on yajret and then afterwards obliterates moral so after super saiyan goku defeats frieza on namek vegeta goes to space to try and find and locate goku originally he was unsuccessful however today we'll be doing a small tweak right here Vegeta is successful in locating planet Yadret and manages to find Goku. At this point, Goku has been training on planet Yadret for about half a year so he has already refined his spirits and is currently trying to learn the instant transmission technique. Vegeta approaches Goku and this is where we'll start the what if for today. Let's get straight into the video. Goku was super surprised at seeing Vegeta on planet Yadret. Goku had no idea how Vegeta found him, however Vegeta was having none of this nonsense. He wanted to see the legendary Super Saiyan again. He needed to see firsthand if he himself was going to turn into a Super Saiyan. So Goku immediately obliges as he starts to power up. The entire planet shakes. The Yadret on planet Yadret were shaking in fear. Goku was going full power as he transforms into a Super Saiyan. His eyes turning green, his hair spiking up and turning a golden blonde color. Vegeta was impressed and shocked at the same time. That was such a sharp increase in power. It wasn't even a fight. Vegeta was no match for Goku in this state at all and he recognized that. Looks like he had to do some training of his own if he was going to catch up to Goku at this rate. As Vegeta, as Vegeta ponders, Paibara suddenly teleports right in front of them, scaring the heck out of Vegeta, even though Vegeta wasn't willing to admit that. Paibara asked Goku who this person was and Goku explains this was Prince Vegeta, another Saiyan warrior. Paibara was hesitant. This person seemed a bit ruthless and cunning from the way he could sense his spirit. However, his spirit felt very out of balance and Parabara really wanted to correct that just to see where this person could go. But Rita honestly wasn't really willing to learn any of the Yadret techniques anyway and was actually going to leave and start his own training immediately. However, once he hears about instant transmission and the other techniques that the Yadrets offer, Vegeta immediately jumps on the bandwagon and decides that he would too start training on Yadret to learn and harness these techniques. He even has a friendly wager with Goku, telling Goku that he would learn the instant transmission before him. So Vegeta's training begins as he sits on top of a steel trying to achieve a balance in his body and mind. However, his spirit was less stabilized than Goku's and he struggled at first, struggling to even stabilize his spirit at all. However, once he got the hang of it, he actually started making crazy progress, even faster than Goku and he mastered the instant transmission technique in just 3 months of training while Goku was still struggling to harness the technique. The Yadrets were impressed. Vegeta was a prodigy, a true prodigy. And Vegeta decides to challenge himself to learn another technique, the hardest technique on planet Yadret, Force Spirit Fission. Meanwhile, Kim and Goku actually continue their sparring sessions as well. They weren't going to give up on their own physical training during this period of time, allowing both of them to grow a lot stronger, especially Vegeta, whose spirit is now much more stabilized, allowing him to achieve growth at faster rates. So we continue moving on 
and Vegeta finally manages to achieve the Super Saiyan transformation on Planet Yadret nearing the end of their training. Vegeta's spirit was much calmer than before, therefore he has more Z cells, allowing him to achieve the Super Saiyan transformation more easily. Meanwhile, we move over to Earth, where King Ko and Mega Frieza make their appearance in the wastelands. As usual, Trunks appears, killing both King Ko and Mega Frieza with ease, showing off another Super Saiyan transformation. Trunks was though a little bit confused. Wasn't Vegeta supposed to be here? As he and the rest of the Z fighters await Goku and Vegeta's return, Goku and Vegeta appear instantaneously together using the instant transmission, both wearing weird looking outfits. Obviously, Vegeta wasn't really too happy with wearing this weird looking outfit. However, this was one of the sacrifices he had to make if he wanted to grow even stronger than Goku. So, Trunks approaches Vegeta, asking Vegeta where he was. As Vegeta explains to the group that he had found Goku on Planet Yadret and had trained alongside Goku on Planet Yadret. As he showcases his Super Saiyan transformation, the entire earth and ground shaking at the sheer power Vegeta was outputting. As Vegeta transforms into a Super Saiyan with his trademark smoke. All the Z fighters were shocked and afraid. Vegeta was kind of a loose cannon here, and he decided to slaughter them all. He could do so with ease at this point in time. However, Goku wasn't really too worried. Vegeta had become a lot tamer on his training on Yadra. So, Trunks transforms into a Super Saiyan as well, deciding to spar with Vegeta this time around as their blows shake the earth and split the ground apart. This was a high speed and powerful battle as all the Z fighters watch them in awe. However, as Vegeta increases his power more, he lands a solid punch on Trunks, sending Trunks flying into the distance. Vegeta knew that he had won the fight, so he powers down into his base form. Trunks catches himself mid-air. He was injured and battered, but otherwise okay. He just couldn't believe what he was seeing. According to what Bulma told him, Vegeta hadn't achieved Super Saiyan transformation at this point in time, yet this Vegeta seemed a lot stronger than the Vegeta that future Bulma knew. He wasn't sure what had caused the timeline to change, however, this was a good and positive development. With Vegeta this much stronger, the androids were definitely going to be less of a threat. So, Trunks takes his leave as usual after telling the Z Fighters about the androids coming in 3 years time. So all the Z Fighters embark on their rigorous training with Goku and Vegeta actually training together this time around. Vegeta is on much better terms with Goku in this version of events after training on Yadret for a year with Goku. Gohan and Piccolo join into their training sessions as well even though they can't really keep up with Goku and Vegeta. However, they do grow a lot stronger as well. So now we've actually moved into the Android slash Cell Saga portion of Dragon Ball Z. Three full years have passed and the Z fighters gather at a wasteland nearby a city. As soon as they see an eruption occur in the city, they rush towards the city. The androids have arrived. Androids 19 and 20. As usual, Yamcha gets ambushed by the android, allowing Android 20 to plunge a hole straight through Yamcha's chest. As Yamcha's consciousness starts to fade, this is where we'll leave off for now. How the events change now that Vegeta is on much more friendlier terms with the Z fighters. Will him learning instant transmission and force spirit vision have any effects on the upcoming events that are going to occur? Well, these are all questions that we will answer in the next part on Dragon Ball Z.